so many cultural heritages, so many famous temples and touristic places to visit in Vietnam. Today we'll do something different. What do you think if we get lost in the city to see what can we find? We stepped from Main Street to this small street at the back and we found this beautiful temple and this is the best when you can get lost and find some hidden places that are not so touristic. We found this coffee that is very famous in the world, this little animal that eats the coffee and then poops the coffee. Poops the coffee yeah. <laughs> Humans are very clever, you know. We think this is amazing, an animal pooping a coffee and we drink it. <laughs> it's very famous in the world, very expensive, but here you find it for 15 to 17 dollars a kilo, so here it's very cheap. Well, in Europe it's actually prohibited because of uh, mistreatment of animals. Yeah, it's true. We're not going to drink it though. Yeah, we're not going to no. drink it. <laughs> Okay, what do you think if we go for a traditional Vietnamese coffee? In the 1800s, the French brought the coffee here to Vietnam. Immediately, Vietnam became a very important producer and an importer of coffee. With time, they have their own preparation of coffee. And it's very popular in the world. Vietnamese coffee is one of the strongest coffee in the world. And of course, we're here to try it, so let's do it. very difficult to find milk so they started to use the condensed milk that came in cans okay the condensed milk was mixed with toasts they were making toast it was mashing the toast and mixing with the condensed milk and put it in the coffee now as you can see this is the traditional Vietnamese coffee they put water the coffee is there and it's just dropping and dropping and, and drop well of course as you can see it's very slow <laughs> so, and, and a little bit of tea. Well, of course it's strong. You can see the amount of coffee that is inside. It's a lot. And this it's is just, lot. it's not just for one cup. It's for one super tiny little cup. It's basically zero three, like alcohol. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at the color of the coffee. It's really black. It's like really, really, it looks really strong. Okay, let's try it. Actually, it doesn't smell that it's that strong. It smells like it has a little bit of vanilla or something. <laughs> it's really strong. It's really strong. And it doesn't have any vanilla, so yeah. forget what I said. It's really strong. But it's good. But I, I think that's why they put the coffee yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The coffee the tea. technique. So you can like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can say I tried the Vietnamese coffee already. So now, now I'm going to put a little bit of milk because yeah, it's really yeah, yeah. strong. It's true, yeah. We maybe stick with Italian coffee, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we found 
market? Yeah, we're gonna get something. How much? 20,000. So less, less than, than $1. Dollar. A lot of people involved in one dollar transaction. Thank you very much. Thank you. I just got a coconut for a dollar and it has coconut water inside. So I'll wait. <laughs> Walking around a traditional market teaches you a lot about the cultural reality of the town. It's very recommended. One year ago, we were in this city, we got lost, we were walking around through the market and we found this place that sells this pho soup, okay? The funny part is we didn't understand anything they were saying, so we just tried pho. We just tried pho, we just tried a soup, we didn't know what was it. But we're very excited now because we found it again and we're gonna try to eat here something local. Which one you wanna try? Okay, Senia wants to try everything that looks weird, she wants to try, of course. Okay, this is the way, you put the things in the rice. And you don't even ask for the price, because here everything is so cheap. That's a lot of rice, so you cannot put a lot of beef. They are, they are very clever. Smart. This is very nice. I saw it so, uh, everywhere here in Vietnam. They make it's like simple soy sauce with these chilies, so they are it's very spicy and it's really good combined with rice and the pork. It's amazing. Look at this amount of food. Good. And two cokes. We don't want to risk ourselves with this juice because this is actually a doggy place. Senia is happy, of course. <laughs> the food was delicious and very cheap, but well, look at the view we have in front. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe, put your comments below, thumbs up and until next time.